It's Ryan Holmes TV with another video for you. What's up, Rytard? Let's just get right into it. This is my YouTube fame recipe. First, the obvious. First of all, you guys gotta create a YouTube channel. Now, you gotta make it memorable and creative because you want it to reflect the videos that you're gonna post on it later. You wanna make sure that the name of your channel is gonna go with the content on your videos. Next, you guys are gonna wanna edit your channel. By this, I mean adding all your info and all your tags to your channel. Also, you're gonna want an eye-catching background and a layout with nice colors. In the info of your channel, make sure you describe what kind of content's gonna be on your video and put a little background info so people feel like they're kinda of getting to know you. Now for your channel tags, you guys are gonna wanna put words that are similar or exactly what your videos are gonna be about. So examples are funny, you know, comedy, spoof, music parodies, stuff like that. The last obvious thing is, you guys are gonna need a camera. Now I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a really expensive camera. A lot of people make really good videos with just their webcam, so any camera will do, especially if the content's good. And now for the recipe. Before you guys even start making videos, you're gonna wanna have to set schedule for your uploads. YouTubers want consistency. They want to have you upload one video every week, two videos every week on the same day. If you guys randomly upload, come back randomly. If they don't even see a new video in the time they didn't come back, they're, they're never gonna come back. If they see that you never put up content, people need consistency. Ideas for videos can come from a lot of places. You can think of your own idea, which means you just rattle a brain out in your idea. You can get inspired by another video, but make sure if you're gonna copy a video, make it your own. A lot of people do really cool things with video responses. It helps out a lot. So video responses is a very helpful tool. It's not a tool. You guys are gonna wanna interact with your viewers in your videos. This means channel comments, comment questions, talking to the camera, and even contests. If they think you're just making their videos and whatever they say is bullshit, they're not gonna come back. They wanna think they're having an influence on your video. Bonus! I feel like a catchy intro or outro is essential to a YouTube channel. People won't even be near a computer and they'll be singing your song in their head. It's gotta be happy, it's gotta be fun, it's gonna make them wanna come back. <sighs> it's Ryan Home TV with another video for you. It's Ryan Holmes TV with another video for you. It's Ryan Holmes TV with another video for you. Ding! It's Ryan Holmes TV with another video for you. It's Ryan Holmes TV with another video for you. It's Ryan Holmes TV with another video for you. Ooh. This part I like to call the secret ingredient. YouTube interaction. That is all I have to say. If you want to make it on YouTube, you have to interact with people on YouTube. This means going to channels, commenting on channels, commenting on videos, watching videos, posting video responses, sending real messages to users, not just saying sub for sub or watch me or watch this. You wanna send genuine messages to people. Send a genuine message. Don't just send a message to get a view or a subscriber. That's not what we're, I'm trying to do here. I'm not trying to get you subscribers here or views. I am trying to get you into the YouTube community so you can start getting subscribers and views. This is not a self-made video system where if you're gonna watch this video, then you're automatically gonna know how to be a, a YouTube star. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that. This is just tips on how to get started the right way. Also, collabs. Making content with other creators gets their viewers to see you, gets your viewers to see them. A lot of people do collabs that are really beneficial to both channels. Now after you upload your video, you're gonna wanna post that content and share it with everybody. One of the things I really like to do that I, I know a lot of people don't use is the share button under the YouTube videos. It's linked to around 10 websites that with one click will post your video. You guys are gonna want a Facebook fan page. A lot of people like to use Facebook instead of YouTube. They watch YouTube videos on Facebook all day long. Also, don't be afraid to post your videos on your personal Facebook. Another great YouTube feature that shares your videos is YouTube bulletins. Post a little blurb and a link to your video and people see that on their recent activity. Now you guys are ready to go out and make videos. Not only will you have great content, but you have a great channel that people are gonna wanna come back to. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get to the comment question.
This week's common question is, what would you do if you were me? All right, guys, you can check out my last two videos over there. LFC to see my face more often. Click that share button down there, baby. And if you want to know what I do on a daily basis, join my Facebook fan page. That's facebook.com slash RyanHolmesTV. Got a couple new shirts in the store, so go check out the Spreadshirt down there. And I also have a phone number so you guys can leave me hate and awesome messages. And that's 401-757-0890. Call me. And I will see you writers next week.